things. We meet again on Chapter 15, Form 4, KSSM, Reproduction, Development and Growth in Humans and Animals. And for Form 5, KBSN, it is on Chapter 4, Reproduction and Growth. The content standard under KSSM Form 4 is 15.4, Development of a Human Fetus. The learning standard, the first one, is 15.4.1, describe the fertilization process and the formation of zygote. Second one, 15.4.2, make a sequence and explain the early development of an embryo until implantation that start with two cell embryo, followed by morula, and the last one is blastocysts. And the third learning standard, 15.4.3 explain the role of human chorionic gonadotropin that is that is HCG hormone in the early stages of pregnancy. The learning objective under KBSM form 5 is 4.3 early development of a human zygote. The learning outcome, the first one, is describe what fertilization is. The second one, describe in simple terms the early development of a zygote. And the third one, name two main development stages of a zygote in preparation for implantation. Now, we look at the event that occurred before the process of fertilization. During copulation, men will ejaculate semen with about 300 to 500 million sperms into the woman's vagina. So the sperm will swim through the cervix to go into the uterus. Less than 3,000 sperm are able to reach the fallopian tube. So this is the right fallopian tube. It will also go to the left. Now, fertilization will occur when one of the sperm is able to penetrate the secondary oocyte in the fallopian tube. Now, once the sperm is able to penetrate the secondary oocyte, the secondary oocyte will form a membrane that is known as fertilization membrane. This fertilization membrane is to prevent penetration from other sperm. Upon entry of the sperm, the nucleus of secondary oocyte immediately completed the uh, second meiosis division, meiosis 2, that is to form over and another polar body. The sperm nucleus and the ovum nucleus fuse together to form a diploid zygote. That process is known as fertilization. And after fertilization process, a nine-month gestation period will start. That is the pregnancy period. Now, after fertilization takes place, which form just now I mentioned, that is the diploid zygote, we'll see how it developed from there. Okay. While traveling down the fallopian tube, the zygote will undergo multiple division, that is mitosis. Okay. Just now, this is the unfertilized secondary oocyte. Okay. And then the sperm try to penetrate. One sperm is able to penetrate, so this is fertilization process, form a diploid zygote. Zygote will undergo the process of mitosis. Okay, so the first one will produce two cells, and then followed by four cells, eight cells, and towards the end, you have what we call as morula. Okay, you can see morula here. Okay, beginning to enter the uterus. Then, the division of mitosis will proceed and morula will transform to become blastocyst. Blastocyst is a hollow ball. You can see it is hollow. And this hollow is uh, filled with a fluid filled cavity. The blastocyst just now will implant itself in the endometrium. So, if the blastocyst is able to implant into the endometrium, into the lining of endometrium, that process is called as implantation. 
Okay. Then the blastocyst will continue to grow into embryo. The unborn baby is known as embryo during the first eight weeks of its development. After the eight weeks that it started the ninth week, uh, we call it as fetus. Now during pregnancy, the placenta will produce what we call as human chorionic gonadotrophin, that is HCG hormone. The level of this hormone increases at the early stage of pregnancy and will be doubled every 2 to 3 days for the first 4 weeks of pregnancy. Why? Because the function, the main function of HCG hormone is to ensure that the corpus luteum continues to secrete estrogen and progesterone at the early stages of pregnancy. This is to ensure that the endometrium the endometrium lining is always thickened. The hormone can be detected in the urine of the pregnant mother. So you can see the picture show the test kit to check the level of HCG hormone to check whether you are pregnant or not. We have come to the end of today's lesson. To try the quiz on this topic, you can click on the link at the show more section below. And don't forget to click the subscribe of my channel to get more updates on a new biology video. Bye!